what is all this? This is everything that I'm fermenting right now in my fermentation corner. I decided in this video that I want to go through just everything that I'm fermenting right now, sort of do a quick explanation, what it's made of, how I'm doing it, and also at the end of this video I do need to do some extra steps for the mustard, so we, that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's start off with vinegar. Everything that I'm pulling out now is destined to be vinegar. Um, starting from the front we've got homemade Mackley vinegar. IPA beer vinegar, red wine vinegar, but using a specific brand of red wine that I really like. Then we've got just cheap red wine vinegar. This one is a cherry homemade cherry macaulay vinegar. And then this is the latest one, which is juniper berries, which is still quite fresh, so it's not quite vinegar yet, but my goal is to try get these juniper berries turn into vinegar. Almost all of these, except for this one, I've seeded with apple cider vinegar. This one is the only one where I actually took some scoby from my kombucha and put it in there to start it off, and it's been doing really well. So next up we have sort of like lacto ferments, and these two are the ones I have right now. So this is ginger and chili, which I actually made in one of these videos. I think it might have been two or three videos ago. I'll link it up here. And then this one is a lemon and lime lacto ferment, which honestly I might actually throw away though because it is quite old at this point. And I just haven't used it and I haven't stored it properly in the fridge, so this has been out for a few weeks now. This one is one we made in a video. This is the chickpea miso I made, I think in the last video. So that one's still really fresh and young, so not much happening there. These two are just classic soybean paste miso. So. This one's, they're exactly the same, it's just this one's in a glass jar because I filled this one up completely. You can see the progress is coming along nicely. There's quite a bit of liquid coming out. Uh, nothing's gone bad at all and it smells, smells amazing. It smells really nutty, it smells really like deep and rich. And I'm really looking forward to how these are going to turn out. This one has a Korean miso paste, also known as denjang. And I actually made this one like two days ago and if you saw my TikTok, kind of blowing up right now. Uh, I've been doing this for about four months now. So just two days ago I took this out of the salt brine that was in and now it's in like its final stages of fermentation. So I'll see if I can open this up. The smell coming from this is very very strong. Let me see if I can peel this back a little bit. It smells amazing though, and I just, I really just can't wait for this to be ready. You can see the top corner there. You can catch a glimpse. There you go, that's what that looks like. It's a lot darker already because it's been going for a long time. I've just got a bag of chickpeas weighing this down so that nothing goes bad. Well, not really go bad, it's just that nothing gets too much exposure to air. Okay, next up we've got my kombucha. And this has been going for maybe half a year at this point. I just used a bottle of store-bought organic kombucha to start this, just in some sweet green tea. And as you can see, the scoby is going really well. All this white stuff here, that's all the scoby. And in some places it's almost two centimeters thick. At the moment, the actual kombucha that's in here is way too strong. So if I did want to make a batch of kombucha, I would have to drain this out and then refill it with fresh tea. And I use this bottle because it has this convenient spout which port, which drains from the bottom. Well, on the inside I've got a little filter which I disinfected and basically keeps all the wispy stuff from coming out in the drink. So soon we'll be doing a, an episode on this as well. This here you probably know this is the mustard we've been fermenting for the past, uh, it's been about a week now. So actually we'll be doing this today, finishing this off, making it into an actual mustard. So this one here is soy sauce which is a byproduct of the Korean denjang that I just showed you. So the way it works is that that denjang had to sit in a, in a salty water brine for, I had it in there for like two or three months. And then that brine went in, when I started it, that brine was clear. And then when I took it out two days ago, this is what it looks like. So now this is basically the startings of a Korean soy sauce. I've pasteurized it, I've filtered it, and now it's gonna sit in here for probably like a year and it should darken up slowly a bit and just really mature the flavor. 
This one is purely experimental. I haven't actually really posted about this one, but this is the liquid from cooking soybeans. And then what I've done is I've mixed it with salt to bring it up to about 20% and then just put it in this disinfected bottle. And my plan is just to see what happens to it. Maybe it'll darken down, maybe it'll um, turn into some kind of weird light soybean soy sauce thing. So this is purely an experiment. The goal of today's video is to turn these mustard seeds into actual edible mustard. Um, this has been fermenting for about a week in salted water with a bit of the starter from the IPA beer vinegar. And I think it's pretty ready now. There's a lot less gas being put out and smells starting to smell really strong. So I think this is ready to turn into mustard. So first thing I want to do is drain the liquid, and but save the liquid because when we mash it up, we want to use that liquid to make it a bit more like watery. That smells so good. You can really smell the mustard coming through. You can smell the beer from the vinegar that I used. Oh, the starter rather. I think once we get this mixed up with a bit of vinegar and some salt and pepper, we'll figure out what we want to put in here. I might do a quick Google search to see what goes well in mustard or how creative we can be with this mustard. Take this out for a second. Pour this liquid back in. We'll use this to basically catch all the rest of the mustard seeds. Oh shit, doesn't matter. That was purely my fault. I probably should have done that more carefully. Let me uh, wipe this down. This is honestly starting to smell so good now that I'm mashing the mustard seeds together. The smell's really coming out. But you know what? To save me some time, I probably will just throw this all into a food processor. So I will do that. Slap the lid on and then I'm just gonna pulse it. <laughs> Probably add back some of this liquid. And just keep going until I find a consistency that I like. Isn't really performing as how I'd like it, so I'm actually gonna change to an actual blender instead of a food processor. Just got a big blender here. This thing is much more powerful than that. So hopefully this will make light work of the mustard seeds. So it's pretty well ground now, so I'm gonna add vinegar and just keep tasting it and seeing what I wanna put in it. Apple cider vinegar here. Everything, everyone knows this brand, so we'll slowly add this in. You know what, I'm gonna take this out, put it in a bowl and mix it in a bowl, cause that just might be easier. get out as much as I can. This smells amazing. Now, I love whole grain mustard, but I've still never smelled anything like this before. Especially with that apple cider vinegar in here now. If you get a look at that, like that texture there. You can see, if it, is it focusing? The texture of that. So, 
I'm gonna add like a teaspoon of sugar. You know what, instead of sugar, I'll use honey. So this is locally harvested honey. This is literally harvested like 10 minutes away from me. So I'm gonna add a teaspoon of this, a pretty big teaspoon. I'm gonna give this a taste. I'm gonna add a bit more vinegar. I'm also gonna add some salt and pepper. And more of this beer vinegar as well. And then just to help it along a little bit more, I'm just gonna add a teaspoon of this mustard powder. Okay, let's give this another taste. I think it just needs a bit more like vinegary, like acidic tang. So I'm gonna add malt vinegar. Another taste. That's it, right there. That's good. So now I'll disinfect a jar and we'll get this put in it. Right after I do some washing up. Got my container. This is uh, alcohol. Put a tiny bit in there. Let's swish it around. Let the gas release. and then I'll pour this out. I'll help speed up the drying process just by giving it a light wipe down with some fresh kitchen towel. And then just uh, finish airing it out. I'm basically going until I can't smell any alcohol coming from the inside. Just gonna give it a few blows to try get some airflow. Okay, I don't smell any alcohol in there now, so I'm gonna start spooning this into here. Pack it down as best I can too. And then start packing this down. And wipe the tops down. And then we're gonna close this off and we'll put this in the fridge. Well, let me label it first. There you go. So this will go in the fridge now. Um, it shouldn't go bad because of the vinegar and everything. It also shouldn't really get spicier, but hopefully the flavor develops some more. So we'll go do that now. While it's in the fridge, I almost forgot that we also have this which we made in our first video, oh, our first kitchen vlog. This is the sauerkraut. I originally made this in a smaller vessel, but I actually made two, because I made one for YouTube, and then I made one for TikTok. But once the flavors of both of them came really good, I actually just mixed them together in this big vessel and put it in the fridge. And I have to admit, this is so delicious. I've been having to try to like stop myself on just constantly eating this by itself mm. now I know some people aren't a fan of the red cabbage saying it's a little bit more bitter but honestly I think it's so delicious so I hope you enjoyed that episode I feel like I didn't get as much done as I usually do but I'll be honest I didn't really have much planned for today the whole mustard thing was just pure coincidence that it was ready but in the next episode, I'm going to be probably doing maybe a kimchi. I don't know yet. I just I have to go out and buy some groceries to prepare for the next episode. So make sure you're subscribed to see those videos. 
I also want to do some more Korean stuff. So let me know in the comments if there is any specific Korean things that you want to see. I do read all the comments. I have read some of them already and I've noted down some of the ones from the last video. But just keep throwing out suggestions and just stuff to like really just fill these videos with because I want to make as many as these as possible here on YouTube.